Who is that? No, I wasn't trying to talk to you. Uh, how much? 16 coins. That's not going to be enough, is it? I'll just heal you up. It's not even a big deal because it's like 3 HP, but it just bothers me because you see this red sort of bar and it looks ugly. Master Hammond's servant can't return to Calais until he recovers the rod. What's down here? This looks... Oh, that's a prison. Look at that. It's pretty shady looking. It's more like a dungeon, I'd say. So, let's see. On this side, we have a weapon store. We have an item store. Uh, this is the place with the gem, wasn't it? Yes, it was. This was... What was this? Have I been in here? No, I've not. My neighbor creeps me out. He always has that smug smirk on his face. Hey, mister, is it fun to see strange new places? Yeah, it's pretty okay. When I grow up, I want to be an adventurer and sleep in a tent. Because that is the only thing adventurers are known for. Sleeping in tents. Four coinies, pretty good. Nothing. Nope, not trying to talk to you. Trying to steal your coins, that's all. Bunch of nothing. Alright, then there's an inn, which we can obviously check out. How much for a stay? Eight coins, that's pretty cheap. I don't want to stay right now, but, you know, at least we know that it's an option now. We got this guy. The guests upstairs weren't in their room during the eruption. We searched the room afterwards, but we couldn't find anything. What are you talking about? I have no idea. People upstairs in the inn. Those three strangers sure have fooled the innkeeper and his wife. They're the type of people who think they can get away with anything. Does that mean that they were staying at the inn and then just sort of left without paying? Oh, look at that. A mint. Now, a mint, I don't remember what that does, actually. Boosts agility. Now, that could be quite good. He's got 22. He's got only got 9. Um, you know what? I'll just give this one to Isaac anyway. Boom. That's 4 agility. It's pretty good. So, let's check the upstairs area, then, and see what's going on in this inn. We got a wooden box. There's this creepy-looking guy with weird hair. What up, bro? We haven't done anything. You're a terrible person if you start accusing people for no good reason. Okay, who are you? That kid Ivan, he creeps me out. He just came and grabbed my arm. I shook him off because he made me uncomfortable. So a couple of strange dudes sitting around. Now let's see if we can find out who this Ivan character is. Because people are talking about him all over town. But, let's actually check this box as well. Another nut. Not bad, is it? Are you accusing us of stealing Hammond's treasured shaman's rod? Yeah. Hey, just because we're new in town doesn't mean we're a bunch of thieves. Besides, you can't prove anything. Now that is something a thief would say. Is, you know, you can't prove anything. Ruff, ruff. What up, little doggy? Let's check the graves. Because I... I'm not really sure if there was anything around these graves. I don't know. No, I'm not trying to talk to you, doggy. I'm trying to check the graves. You're terrible, dog. You, I'm not even able to do my job. We're trying to find stuff around here. We're adventurers, you know, that's what we do. This is the last place that we haven't checked yet. My husband, the mayor, can't believe anyone from Vault could be the thief. But unless we find who, st we find who stole the rod, Ivan can't return home to Calais. Let's just steal from the mayor a little bit, as much as we can, that is. Nope, nothing in here. Come on, he's a mayor. He's he's bound to have something around here. And this is quite interesting. I basically reused the character model of Garrett's grandpa, who was the mayor of Ville. And the mayor of Vault looks the exact same. Could someone please help Ivan? Ivan has great powers. Wouldn't you like to know what they are? Yeah. No way, it's our secret. Oh, come on. I could help Ivan if I were just a little older, so this must be... This Ivan guy. Mind Raid? What is he doing? Yes, I... I do possess strange powers. Oh my god, what is wrong with this... with this fella? You have them too, don't you? Mind Raid. He didn't even introduce himself. What? My power? It's called Synergy? I had no idea. We have so much in common. I feel I can trust you with this. Sure, you can... you can trust me with anything, man. Don't worry about it. I'm quite troubled. Master Hammett's rod was stolen. Would you please help me get my master's rod back? No, we got some things we gotta do. Uh, you know, lighthouses and all that, so no. 
I see. I suppose it's a lot to ask of a total stranger. Oh, really? Sure, we'll, we'll help you find the rod. I thought he would, you know, keep insisting. Thank you. With your help, I believe we can recover the rod. Your names are... Isaac and Garrett, I'm Ivan. Pleased to meet you. What a strange little guy. My ability to read people's minds frightens you, doesn't it? I guess that's a yes. Am I really? Is my mind is my mind read so frightening? No, it's fine. Don't worry about it. It's totally normal. Ivan and Isaac clasped their hands together. Oh, what's happening right now? Ah, my mind! Stop reading my mind, Ivan! So, Isaac, could you read Garrett's mind? Yes, I could. Just as I thought. What? You, you read my mind too, Isaac? That's unfair. I guess that I could help you read minds if we shared our synergy. Hey, that's not fair. Why do you get to read my mind? You're right. It's not fair to read one way. Ivan and Garrett clasped their hands together. Oh, he's not happy about that. Whoa, I did it. I read your mind, Isaac. Pretty sure Isaac's mind is, you know, as empty as his voice. Let's use Mind Read to find the thieves. Wait a second. Won't people know that we're using Mind Read? Oh, I see. You, you two can tell when I'm using Synergy? Yeah, we can actually. Isaac, both you and Garrett are, are adepts. Maybe that's why you can tell when I'm reading your minds. That could be it, yeah. Ordinary people can't see anything. There's nothing to worry about. Don't worry. I will not read your minds again. Well, I guess we have a deal then. I have joined the party. Let me read the minds of the townspeople to find the rod. Alright, so let's check Ivan out now that he's actually, you know, joined the party. He has no gin. Uh, he's got very high agility, but the rest of his stats are... He's got good defense and high, very high PP. He's a wind seer. He's got high PP. Um, his synergy are whirlwind, mind read, and ray. And he is a um, Jupiter, Jupiter uh, adept. He's actually the highest level I have right now. Let's go ahead and set mind read. And now we can walk up to people, just press L. Let's go like that. These guys look reliable, I guess. Ivan's pretty lucky. I wonder what sort of thing an animal would say. I wish I had that power. Hey, that tickles. Being tickled by a boy isn't so fun. Okay. Her mind is empty. Oh, actually it's not. Okay, maybe they'll find her stolen family heirloom while they're looking. I miss that old urn. So now we can go around and actually listen to people's thoughts. Basically any person, I'm quite sure. Poor, uh, poor Ivan, but the rod may never turn up. In that case, it can stay here forever. Wow, that doesn't sound like fun, does it? No man should steal from another during the panic of an eruption. It's unforgivable. Okay, so we got some mind street. How about this fellow then? Fix the roof? Why pay for a carpenter when I can just hammer it a bit myself? Well, you haven't exactly done that, have you? And as for the question of that little girl, let's see what the dog is thinking here. Because that sounds like fun. Stealing in the midst of a volcanic eruption. Humans val value money more than they value their own lives. Now that not that the truth? Nobody's stealing anything on my watch. You know the thieves must be out from out of town. They must be. No one living here would break the law. We actually skipped this area earlier. Everyone knows those three at the inn stole the rod. It's just so frustrating. So, you know, as you go around and sort of listen to people's thoughts and all that, you start to gather some clues, obviously. And you know, really, the only people that are super shady are those guys at the inn. Look at that. You guys see that behind the tree? That looks an awful lot like a gin. Master Hammond, a wealthy landowner and merchant from Calais, had his precious rod stolen from him. He was quite upset. Why does a wealthy man like Hammett make such a fuss over losing one rod? He has more than enough money. He could just buy a replacement. Ring the bell. And there you go. The gin uh, disappeared. And let's see. How are we going to get there anyway? I don't think there's a way to get to there from inside the town. 
I have to be honest with you guys, I've played this game a couple of times, obviously, but not every gin I know how to get to. So that will be fun to find out, wouldn't it? Hmm, it looks like they're on to us. We better leave town as soon as possible. Yeah, I don't think so, buddy. That's not gonna happen today. Off on an adventure, are you? Yep, pretty much. It's impressive to see youngsters like you going on a dangerous journey. I was just about to leave this town behind me when the volcano erupted. So he was just about to bail and move. Hello, innkeeper lady. That volcano cost us a lot of business, and now this robbery. Those three are paying us a lot of money. I'll stick up for them if there's any trouble. I actually haven't paid a single gold coin yet. Oh yeah, I already talked to you. The master and his wife are blinded by money. They'll be in trouble if they don't help search for the thieves. Alright, so let's go upstairs then and find out what is up with these dudes that are super shady. Oh, look at that. What do you want? It looks like that weird kid is with them. I can't stand him. Don't let him near me. And now they're actually running away. But... This is the thing. We can't actually get to him. It's impossible. They're acting suspicious. Something's not right. But you can't use mind read if they keep running away, can't you? Yeah, that's not gonna work, is it? Isn't there any way I can catch them? Then there's only one way, isn't there? Maybe the three of us can surround one of them. Should be quite easy. Don't worry, this is gonna work. Isaac, you take the lead. Alright then, let's go, uh... Catch a bad guy. Hey, they're back! Uh-oh, they're coming for us one-on-one. -on -one. Do whatever it takes, just keep away from them, like before. And we already have one. Oh, really? That's what you're gonna do? Uh-oh, I'm surrounded! No, Ivan. Uh, Alright. Here we go, this is it, the moment of truth. Wh what is this? What is he doing? He shut his eyes. What's he doing? Are you done, Ivan? I think he is. What did you learn, Ivan? It's them, all right. I, I think they took a lot of other things, too. It looks like they're hiding it all somewhere in this inn. But they won't let me near them again. Well, that's for sure, yeah. And I guess we have no other choice. We have to search the inn, yep. Leave it to us. Yeah, Isaac always comes through, it's true. I trust your sense of duty. Well, it's decided. Let's go, Ivan. No, leave me alone. Oh, look at that. So actually, if you try to read their mind, they'll just, you know, run away from you. And there's nothing you can do. So we're supposed to search the inn. And obviously there's not a lot of hiding space. We can basically see through walls and all that with this map. Not in these boxes. Now if only there was one really... Actually, let's rest at the end before we go. 12 coins now, because it's the three of us now. Thanks, Ivan. This cost me four extra coins. Alright. I hope you slept well. Have a nice trip. Thank you, I appreciate it. Now look at that. What just changed? Did something just change? Oh yeah, look at that. The guy is gone. And obviously this is the only actual convenient spot in the roof that we haven't seen yet, isn't it? Oh my god, there's a box in the way. What are we gonna do? Oh wait, we have magic powers, don't we? Yep. There we go. Some swords on the wall. Whoa! What's happening? There's a dude here. Isaac cut him free from the ropes. Who is this fella? I came into this loft while I was fixing the roof, so that's the guy who was actually standing at the ladder earlier. But I found I couldn't get all the way to the back of the loft. So I was looking into it when WHAM! What happened? Someone whacked me in the head from behind. When I came to, I was all tied up. There's a, this doesn't sound good, does it? There's a bunch of shit here. Strange, I don't remember all these crates being up here before. Maybe all that stolen stuff is in these crates. Looks like we've been found out. Oh boy. 
This is the same threatening music we heard earlier, I believe. You're pretty persistent for one of Hammett's whelps, kid. Why are you working so hard for Hammett? What is it to you? Anyway, Hammett's already been caught by a worse bunch of thieves than us. What are you talking about? I hear Hammett fled to Lumpa after the eruption. And we obviously don't know what Lumpa is yet. Did you say Lumpa? A man with Master Hammett's money shouldn't be shouldn't go anywhere near Lumpa. What kind of place is Lumpa? The town was named after its founder, Lumpa, the noble thief. That family of thieves were made noble even when his son Dunpa took over. But Dumpa's son, Dodumpa, is an evil thief. So many names here already. The man has no morals. I've heard he's truly vicious. That's not good. See, we're not so bad. How about it? Will you let us go? I'm afraid I can't do that, buddy. What? You mean even if we return everything we stole and apologize, it's still crime? Oh, that's how it works. You must be joking. We stole this stuff fair and square. Um, we'll just have to keep you quiet. Uh-oh. This look looks like this is it. And there's only one way to do that. Get him! 